Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to learn to, how to implement jQuery data table server side processing, in new version of Laravel 5.8. There are many viewers, has requested us to make Laravel 5.8 CRUD application, by using jQuery data tables plugin and bootstrap model. So, here we have first start discussing, how to implement jQuery data tables with Laravel 5.8 framework. jQuery data tables plugin is mainly, used for display data in tabular format with feature like, pagination, searching data, column sorting and extra. Now let's, Start discussing how to make Laravel 5.8 application with jQuery data table server side processing. This is our testing database. We will connect Laravel application with this testing database. Now we want to download Laravel latest version. For this we have go to command prompt. Here we have cursor moved to folder, in which we want to download Laravel latest version. Here we have already write composer command, and after this write this command, this command will download latest version, it will take some time for downloading. After downloading Laravel framework, now first we want to make database connection, so we have go to, config folder and open database.php file. And under this file we have set, mysql database configuration like host name set to local host, database name set to testing, Username set to root and password set to blank. Same way after this, we have open.env file, and here also we have define mysql database configuration like, host name set to local host, database name set to testing, Username set to root and password set to blank. After making database connection, now we want to create table from Laravel application. For this we want to create migration file. For this we have to go to command prompt and write following command. This command will make create Ajax CRUDs migration file, database folder and in that folder we want to open migration folder, and here we can file migration file. So, we have opened this file, here we can see two method like up and down, up method will create Ajax CRUDs table, here first we want to define table column. So, here we have write, dollar table variable with string method, and under this we have write first name table column name. Same way for last name table column, here we have write, dollar table variable, with string method, and under this we have write last name. Same way for image table column, here we have write, dollar table variable with string method and under this we have write image this way we have defined table column now we have go to command prompt and here we have write this command this command will migrate table structure from laravel application to testing mysql database so we have go to testing mysql database here we can see ajax cruds table has been created 
First we have insert some data into this table. After inserting data into Ajax CRUDs table, we will display data in jQuery data tables with Laravel 5.8 framework. Now we want to create Ajax CRUD model, so we have go to command prompt, and write this command, it will make Ajax CRUD model under app folder. Now we have go to app folder, and open Ajax crud.php model file. Under this file, we have write protect dollar fillable variable is equal to array, with table column like first name, last name, and image, here we have use model for database operation. After this we want to create crud controller file, so we have go to command prompt, and write this command, it will create ajax crud controller.php file, under app slash http slash controller folder. So, we have go to that folder and open ajax crud controller.php file, here we can see in build method for all crud operation. First here we have write, use statement with app folder with forward slash ajax crud model class, so under this controller we can use ajax crud model for database operation. Now we want to download Yadra data tables package in this Laravel application, so we have go to command prompt and write following command. This command will download Yadra data tables package, in our Laravel application, it will take some time for download. After successfully download of Yadra data tables package and install, now we have go to config folder, and open app.php file. In this file we have to define service provider and alias details, this is required for use of Yadra Laravel data tables package in this application. Now we want to publish this vendor, for this we have go to command prompt, and write following command, it will publish this Yadra Laravel data table package, so we can use in this application. Now we have go to index method, and here we have write, return statement with view method, and under this we have write, ajax index view file, it will load ajax index.blade.php file in browser. Now we have go to, resources folder slash views folder, and open ajax index.blade.php file, in this file we have already loaded jQuery library, bootstrap library, and jQuery data table library. Under this file, we have first create table with attribute id is equal to user table, with for table column like image, first name, last name, and action. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, so here we have write, dollar with table id user table with data table method, this method will initialize data table plugin. Under this method, First we have write processing option set to true, it will enable table process table data. Below this we have write, server side option which have been set to true, it will enable server side processing. In third option, we have write ajax, and under this we have write url option, which has been set to Laravel expression. 
and between this expression, we have right root method, and under this we have right, ajax crud dot index, it will send ajax request to index method of ajax crud controller. Below this, we have right, columns option, which has been used to define table column details. Under this array, we have write data option set to image, and name set to image, here we have define image table column details. For display image in jQuery data table, here we have write render callback function, with four argument like data, type, full and meta. Under this function, we have write return statement, HTML code like, image tag, with source is equal to Laravel expression, and between this URL class with to method with slash. It will return path to public folder, in which we have store images under images folder, so here we have write images slash data variable, it will display image from public folder of Laravel framework. For disable image column sorting, so here we have write, orderable option set to false. It will disable image column sorting. For first name table column, here we have add new node with data option set to first name, and name option set to first name. Same way for define last name table column, here we have add new node, with data option set to last name, and name option set to last name. For define action table column details under data tables, so here we have add new node, and under this we have write data option set to action, name option set to action, and stop table column sorting, here we have set orderable option set to false. Now we have moved to write PHP code. So we have go to index method of Ajax CRUD controller, and here we have write if statement. And under condition we have write, request method with Ajax method, this condition will be true, if this method has received Ajax request. Under this if block, we have write return statement with data tables method, this method will create new data tables instance from source. Here we have add of method, and under this method we have write Ajax CRUD model class with latest method with get method. Here latest method, will return latest data from Ajax CRUD table, and by using get method it will convert into array, Send to data table source using of method. Here action table column data has not become from Ajax CRUD table, so here we want to define action column. So here we have write add column method with two argument. In first argument we have write action table column name and in second argument we have write callback function with dollar data argument. Under this column we want to define edit and delete button, so here we have write dollar button variable is equal to, button tag with type is equal to button. Name is equal to edit, id is equal to dollar data variable with id object class is equal to edit, and in button text we have write edit, here this class name we will use as selector in jQuery code, and we will fetch value of id attribute for edit. 
After this we have again we write, dollar button variable, and under this we have append HTML code like, button tag with type is equal to button, name is equal to delete, ID is equal to dollar data variable with ID object. Class is equal to delete, and button text we have write delete, here we will use delete class as selector, and ID attribute value will be fetch in jQuery code for delete data operation. After define edit and delete button code under this dollar button variable, now we have write return statement with dollar button variable, it will display edit and delete button under action table column. For new column, now we want to define column which should not be escaped. For this here we have write raw columns method and under this we have write table column name action. Lastly, we have write make method with true argument. It will return unsave model instance. So, here our code is ready for jQuery data table server side processing in Laravel 5.8. Now we want to set root of all method of Ajax CRUD controller, so we have go to roots folder web.php file. Here we have write root class, with resource method with two argument, in first argument we have write Ajax CRUD, and in second argument we have write Ajax CRUD controller. This code will set root of all method of Ajax CRUD controller, now we want to run Laravel application, for this we have go to command prompt. In command prompt, here we have write php artisan serve command, it will start Laravel server, and return base URL of Laravel application. Now we have check output in browser. So, here we have write Laravel application base URL, slash Ajax CRUD, so it has load Ajax CRUD table data in jQuery data table plugin. Here we can see image has been loaded in jQuery data table plugin in Laravel 5.8 framework, and here we can also see edit and delete button in all row. Here we can perform all data tables features like searching of data, data pagination, column sorting of data and many more, this all functionality we can done without write any line of code. So, this way we can implement jQuery data table plugin with Laravel 5.8 framework by using Yajra data table package. In next part, we will see how to insert data into MySQL table using Ajax and Bootstrap model in Laravel 5.8 framework. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.